Hey guys, Joe here, doing a tabletop review of, well, you can obviously see the box here, the Rossi RS-22 Rimfire Rifle. Legendary performance. These are a Brazilian-made rifle, made by a company called Braztec. They also make this exact rifle for Mossberg in the form of the 702 Plinkster you can actually interchange most of the parts including the magazines which is very convenient because the Rossi is not made available with a 25 round mag and the Mossberg is as you can see it's a steel mag has a red follower orange follower seems to be of a high quality so that's good this is the actual rifle and as you can see mine is brown and black for the very simple reason that my everyday carry gun is also brown and black. I thought it would just be cool. The three choices I had were all black synthetic, OD green and black, and brown and black. So I decided to go with the one that matches my EDC. Additionally, I prefer colored stocks and frames on polymer guns. I don't know why, it just seems to brighten them up a little bit. So I will show you that it is clear, of course. The bolt is open, there's no magazine in it, so no bullets. But this is a semi-automatic 22 long rifle rifle. And it's got some really cool features on it, such as fiber optic front and rear sights. Sorry, I'm bumping the camera a little bit. It's hard to get these things in focus when I'm coming in at an angle. Taking a look at the sights on the gun here, the rear one is fully adjustable both for elevation and windage using simple turn knobs very clearly marked with up and down U and D and also L and R they're upside down because of the way I'm holding the gun but uh, hopefully your brain is working better than mine the front sight has a giant what they call hood over it this is actually removable if you can see it's kind of forced into the channels at the end here and if you were to slide it off, you could actually take that off if you don't like it. I don't mind it. Reminds me of the Lyman sight on the 1875. It does have some lines on the top of the receiver to help reduce glare because the sight sits on the barrel and not on the receiver itself. This is a 18 and a half inch barrel. It is a free floating barrel on a synthetic stock or a polymer stock. Looks very much like a kel with the square grip panels and they actually feel pretty good I thought they weren't going to be as grippy as they are so I'm quite happy with that the bluing on the barrel is nice the trigger guard is nice does have a manual safety it's a cross bolt safety bink bink and it does lock open on a empty magazine however unless you lock lock the bolt back it will close when you drop the mag. What I mean by that is, and it's very difficult to see, there's an arrow on the assist handle that points in towards the rifle. What you do is you pull back and push it in and it will lock the bolt open when there's no magazine in it. To unlock the bolt you just simply pull it back a little bit, pull it out, and there you go it runs free unless you actually lock it back. Now the MSRP on these is $139. Do not expect to pay that much. You'll usually find them in the 125 or even 120 range, which is what we sell them for at Liberty Arms. Website is up, go check it out. If you see a firearm on there and you want to call us, go ahead and do that and we can talk to you as well. But let's take a look at what you get in the box. The box is very plain, just has their logo on it and inside there's literally not much and that's good because it means that they're keeping the money and investing it in their rifles rather than in their packaging so you get a Rossi manual and a pamphlet for firearm safety you get a warning lead and hazardous chemical exposure lead 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 lead, lead. and then the bag that the firearm comes in that's all you need I don't care I don't know of anybody that stores their rifle in a cardboard box. 
Typically you have a hard case or you keep them in a standing safe, but I would never put one in a cardboard box. So the reason I decided to do a rifle for the next first 100 video is twofold. Number one, I wanted to do a rifle while I'm waiting for the Mossberg MC1 to become available, but additionally, I've been using this, and it's going to take a while to come through the frame because it's an extremely large gun. Still not done. Yep, almost there. There we go. Yeah, this is a Winchester 1875. It's a 1941 model, so it is, wow, 78 years old now. It's a very old rifle. And it works flawlessly. I've taken it to the range a few times, and it shoots beautifully. There are a couple negatives. Number one is it has really basic sights. I mean, it's got Lyman sights, so they're better than like really cheap ones, but they're still steel sights with no augmentation. Lyman produced sights for Winchesters after Winchester stopped producing their own for a while. I'm not 100% sure the reason why. They're very similar to what was actually on the firearm but uh, these are Lyman. Second reason, this one is a bolt action. It's not a big deal, just have to do that every time you want to fire, but you know, I'd rather have a semi-auto for something like this. Third reason is I only have one mag, and the mags only hold five rounds. Kind of annoying to reload every five rounds. Fourth reason, and you probably see it in the video here, is I'm shaking because this son of a gun is extremely heavy. This is a very heavy wood stock. This barrel is super heavy. I would actually say this thing weighs as much as a Savage and shoots. It shoots extremely well. I have no problems with the way it shoots, but it's way too heavy. I don't like carrying it out there. And on top of which, being such an old rifle, I want to clean up the stock, polish the wood. The metal's in really good shape. There's no rust or corrosion that I can see. And I want to make it beautiful again and only take it out on special occasions. So I bought a plinker. The goal is to replace all my older guns, any guns that I have that are older, such as my 1949 Winchester 1894 3030 with like a new Henry or a new Marlin or a new Winchester so that I don't have to take a $2,000 rifle out and shoot it just because I want to shoot 3030. So yeah, tomorrow I'm going to take this out, I'm going to take my EDC out, put another couple hundred rounds through it because I need to practice shooting that. That's about it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Let me know what you would do if you would put optics on it because it does have the standard 3 8 inch dovetail so you can clamp on rings to put an optic on there. Or if you would do anything to a rifle that you can pick up for about 120 bucks. I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is, maybe throw a sling on it, and be happy with it. So, I'll shoot the shooting video tomorrow, get it uploaded in the beginning of the week, but for this weekend, enjoy this. And, I'll talk to you later.